Astraea with the reading for the collective. I hope that this message finds everyone well. What is it that we need to focus on? What does the collective need to know? Exaltation, beautiful things, beauty, creating beauty. That could be art, just beauty around you. It doesn't have to be ostentatious, but just nice things. Extremism, Mercury and Scorpio. Really harsh drama, information, communication, uh, documents, evidence. Vision. Someone has a vision. They can see into the dark. See into the house of hidden enemies. Some sort of domination. Mars and Sagittarius. Someone has ideas that they want to overpower someone about. Empathy. Moon and Pisces. Someone can really feel someone. Uh, they have like... Um, they can tell how others feel. So some sort of like... Enterprise. Um, let's use these. Or it has to do with an enterprise or someone's in the business of like exaltation. Moon and Taurus. Like the moods, the, ch the changing moods, the changing moods having to do with love and money communication that is about sex, death, and other people's money. Uh, it's, it's illuminating what's in the dark. It's very, this is very much about like feelings, intuition. This is like high priestess energy, but then there has to like, has something to do with like belief systems that are challenged, challenged by this or something like that. Exaltation, someone who's um, could be also seen in a certain way. Uh, it's a good thing. It's a number two. There's balance there. It has to do with relationships. Um, five of cups. Someone feels like they're missing something or they have a sense of regret and loss. Um, let's see here. Mercury. Mercury can be a trickster. Two of Swords, also a two, but this is some sort of stalemate in regards to some communication or, you know, you can kind of see that people there uh, fighting over some information uh, that's traveling or this could be communication, people communicating in a very extreme way. Some sort of like mistake, a trifling mistake. Once a decision was made, you know, because a two of swords this way is a stalemate. Someone doesn't want to get off the fence. It's almost easier than creating the drama or dealing with whatever choices they make because either way, there's going to be an issue when they make the choice that they have to deal with after. This way, it's like they. This is either like fallout because someone didn't make a choice or stalemate is like falling apart or someone made a choice that was a mistake. Someone made a mistake either by sitting on the fence, creating a stalemate or making a choice that was not beneficial. Vision. So we have four of swords in the reverse. Someone continuing on in spite of dire stress. Or someone getting off the fence. Or not getting off the fence. Out of like someone has had the rest they need and now they are um, recovering. You know, it's like someone leaving a retreat. Or a spa. Or Someone who's been in bed a lot because they were ill, recovering, 
or can be a deepening of of that like you know this can be also health someone's declining health or something could have to do with some sort of tradition religion religious leader um like a society, a gatekeeper, marriage. Yeah, and it makes sense too with this like domination card because there's like all of these religions that are kind of have a belief system or it's like a belief system that's like trying to dominate something. Mars and Sagittarius dominate an idea, dominate travel, dominate philosophy. Dominate others. Yeah, it's creating a tower. That's a tower. There's a tower happening because someone, they, this could be a fight. This could be a fight. This could be a fight. Someone's fighting with someone. Someone's continuing on despite dire stress. There's like a vision here, being able to see into the dark who the enemies are and it's creating a fight, a tower's coming down. False foundations, anything that was built on, on a weak foundation is falling apart. It comes from God. It comes from God and it leads to healing, which is the star, the next card is the star. Empathy, Moon in Pisces. This is like definitely vibration to me. Something's like a frustrated action, a message that's not getting through. Um, this has to do with like, empathy can be knowing how others feel, but like it can also, you know, it's someone who can tune into another person. Um, messages going back and forth, like, you know, they say, like, twins just know what the other twin is doing. They can feel the other person's feelings. It's kind of like that energy. So it's like somebody feels like they have a connection with someone that way. Um, and they could be, like, feeling frustrated by, like, this is Eight of Wands. It's fire. It's intuition. Um, Eight of Wands is the fastest moving deck card in the deck besides maybe knight of swords so it really does cover like vibrations you know things just things you can't see moving fast it could be also internet it could be falling in love um this could be a quick decision that's being made but this way it's like frustrated action decisions not being made but it's like the urge to do something but also like a message not getting through could feel like telepathic or even someone wanting empathy but not getting it. A message that's stuck, something like that. And under the deck, we have evolution reverse. So it's like someone is not wanting to go with the next phase of humanity. It's like someone has come out of the cocoon and is ready to flit and flutter. <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting those words from, but flit and flutter, um, but they can, but they're already a butterfly, and none of that makes any sense, and this has to do with enterprise, this has to do with, like, big expansive ideas and taking action on them with Aries there, the very beginnings of something. And again, I see all these alignments on the hand and the palm, it's like saying that now is the time for this big thinking. It's the transits too, it's the time. And evolution is here and I see even like escape here. It's like Mars and Pisces like taking an action in secret or making moves, making moves that can't be seen by the 12th house, things that are happening in the dark or even in the psyche. Use kippers.
Yeah, there's definitely a, this has to do with very intuitive people here. There's a lot of intuition going on. And there's some kind of like strife because of it. Exaltation. It feels like someone feels grief, grief or loss around. Can, can I understand exaltation? Child that keeps coming out. The child. It's like the fourth time in like few readings this child is becoming very prominent and I just said in two readings ago that I was I looked into the child and keeps coming up and I keep just saying it's a new beginning um it could be an actual child some sort of grief or loss around a child or just some something about being innocent creates beauty something like that a new beginning, being exalted. Exalted. Just to do with maybe also with the community is looking at someone. Um, and I just also want to just look up exalted just really quick because I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of missing something with that word. Exalted means placed at a higher powerful level, held in high regard. It had taken her years of hard infighting to reach her present exalted rank. In a state of extreme happiness, I felt exalted and newly alive. So yeah, this is about someone, maybe someone feels a sense of loss at someone else's exaltation or someone's trying to stop someone's exaltation or somebody wants exaltation but somehow it's connected to a child if i look at this in a less like linear way this could be a new beginning so someone's held in high regard and there's a new be there should be a new beginning because Five of Cups, or there's someone's having a new beginning and someone's feeling regret and loss. Someone someone fought for this, a lot of infighting. So someone fought a lot for their, their rank and there's a sense of loss. Some, someone is highly regarded. There's like some innocence here that's lost. New beginning, innocence lost, exalted person with innocence loss, regret, grief. Extremism, two of swords in the reverse. A mistake was made, some information, a choice, fighting over something. A mistake has to do with this distorted feminine energy. Karmic feminine. There's extremism going on, maybe a fight. Someone came off the fence or someone made a mistake with this distorted feminine energy. Vision, Four of Swords, Reverse, Judication, not wanting to go to court, not wanting to go to spiritual court, not wanting to be judged, not dealing with justice. It's coming from whatever this, someone has a vision, came out of dire straits, tra straits or someone's coming out of, someone's coming out of, they're continuing on. They've got a vision. They're continuing on. They're recovering or um, they're continuing on in spite dire stress, strain. There's some sort of judication that hasn't happened yet or isn't happening. Domination, the tower. Someone wants to dominate someone and it's a huge tower. Maybe it's a re revelation because the tower isn't just a faulty foundation. It's an awakening. It's it's a revelation of the truth. Um, nothing will ever be the same again. It's a major arcana, so it comes from God. It has to do with, I feel like this wants to come out. A mature woman, pri privileged lady, could be like a divine feminine being dominated or 
like out of their position. Maybe that's what this exaltation is. Someone's thinking a lot about that. Um, something in my hand here was like hot, right between these two fingers. I'm trying to figure out what that was. Occupation. This feels something here too. Let's shuffle again. Someone coming out of poverty, a divine feminine coming out of poverty. Poverty could be, you know, actual poverty. It could be dark night of the soul. Having to do with like working with someone in a, like, a love relationship that has to do with work or something like that. Ding. This week could be happening in a family room that only a few people knew or know was happening. Outcome, despair. Someone's in a lot of despair. There's some sort of frustration. They can't get the message through. They can't get the message out. Or a final decision has been made. There's a connection here, but a final decision has been made. Family room again. Kind of want these. I feel like there's more than one person involved here with this extremism. I feel like there's two main people that are the main energy. I feel like it's a, a masculine and a karmic feminine. Uh, something that went on. Some sort of extremism. There really could be some evidence or something. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but... It's got a crown on top of its head. So I feel like that's connected to this exaltation. Somebody's like honor someone held in high regard is creating some sort of extremism a trifling mistake was created with this toxic feminine someone has a vision they're continuing in spite of dire stress there hasn't been adjudication yet someone is trying to dominate something uh, someone's belief systems or there's a religious organization that there's or there's a revelation uh, and it has to do with thinking a lot about this person's career and their occupation in connection to someone that they work with that they were in a loving or are in a loving relationship with someone can really feel someone someone really understands someone feeling there's there's frustration here that that a final decision is being made or hasn't been made and someone's in despair. Someone could really love someone here. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. <laughs> love came out. Yeah, someone... That's what it's like, innocence and love. And maybe that's why someone is held in high regard because they just are... A new beginning in love or someone really just carries leads with the heart uh, which isn't easy to do isn't, isn't easy to do <sighs> extremism falseness connected to a toxic feminine energy just very false toxic feminine Extremism, bad decision. There could be fighting with this person. Vision, adjudication, vision. Something hasn't. It's that lover again. Love, love, lover. Someone has a vision. Someone, someone could be really sick, or someone's not being judged, or someone doesn't want to go to court over something. Someone is not being judged fairly. There's no judgment here. Doesn't want to go to court. No, I don't know about that one. Domination Tower. Domination Tower. It's 
someone's looking at something very deeply. That's what the revelation is, this tower. Someone is like looking into something. This could be an expert looking into something as well. Yeah, with this concern, someone could be really like, you know, getting some sort of information and can't stop thinking or it's very concerning to them. And it has to do with this divine feminine it's like their position, I would say. I feel like it's the same person. Maybe this person was being, like, dominated. Someone was trying to dominate them. Um, and it had to do with, like, someone was trying to put them in poverty. Um, and it was connection to, like, love. A love relationship and this person's occupation. And someone's looking really deeply into that and thinking about it a lot. It's very concerning to them. Um, empathy, frustrated. Someone, it could be someone who is really feeling for this circumstance and feels frustrated or they want to send a message but they can't get it through or something. Someone's in despair over this. It's someone's in despair about this whole situation. It has to do with no money's coming in and something about this baby reversed. I'm telling you, this child keeps coming out and I keep thinking it's a new beginning, but someone really melancholy about a fortune and then there's like this woman that comes out a lot, this older woman, like this matriarch energy having to do with this message person's in the reverse though so I don't I feel suspicious of this person this person is sending messages who is not trustworthy in connection to a child where there's an issue and a lack of money and there's a frustrated action or a message because this is message to message not getting through because of a older woman here uh, like a matriarch something's not getting through but someone can feel someone I feel like this lord might be melancholy and they can't get any help hmm. so let's do one more pass or two more passes Because what this feels like is Miracle. Something's a miracle in connection to someone's held in high regard. There's something that's a miracle about them. It's connected to love. There's a lot of regret and loss. Innocence. A miracle. A love miracle. Innocence. New beginning. Extremism. Something about acceptance. Someone being accepted. This false person, this distorted feminine energy. There was some stalemate. In re something very extreme happening is re in regards to acceptance. And this false person, this false, false distorted feminine energy. Something about acceptance. Like what will be accepted. Or is, try, is having, there's some extreme information in regards to this false person and acceptance. Some decision was made, some trifling mistake. Vision, Four of Swords. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's almost like, you know, this person has baked a pie and it, they have someone over their shoulder supporting them. This seems like someone who's in a pie contest. They're in a pie contest and they feel like it has to do with, I don't know, some, someone's acceptance there. But they, it's like, there's something about this person in the back here, this energy in the back behind this person and the way that they're holding the little pie, pie scooper upper, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> A pie scooper upper. Um, yeah, didn't I say recovery? Recovery, this person's recovering. This is about someone recovering. Recovery, four of swords. This person's recovering in spite of dire, dire stress. There's some sort of grief. Grief. Wow, look at that. Look at the puppy and the little gray heart. Yeah, someone has been through a lot here. A divine feminine, I think. Who has a like very high priestess energy, very intuitive person has recovered or is recovering from grief. Or that's creating grief for someone else that this person is recovering. Maybe it's this person with the sharp pie, pie scooper upper. Imagine going to like, I don't know, like shopping, online shopping and like Google Pie Scooper Upper. I'm sure you'll find what you need. I'm sure there's a proper name for it. Um, like at the table, you just say, pass me that thing. Like, does anyone actually know the name of that? I'm sure there's a name. Tower of Domination. Tower of Domination. There's a whole big revelation. Look at that. Someone was standing in the way. This, everyone is at an impasse here. Or someone's at an impasse. There's a tower because someone's standing in the way now. But someone was like trying to dominate. Look, that person was standing in the way. Of someone who who had some sort of wisdom and a peace dove there and something for the world. And this person was in, was in isolation. They were all dressed up. They were all dressed up with nowhere to go. See? Um, and someone was like, no, you may not pass domination. Someone was trying to dominate someone and isolate them. Those are all the cards that came out here for this. And that means that they couldn't, they couldn't complete something or someone was, con <laughs> someone wanted, didn't want to stop till it was complete, complete. They didn't want this person to grow. And um, yeah, so that's the tower and, and I think that's what this is. It's a, a feminine energy. Privilege doesn't necessarily mean money. It can be, but it just means that they had to have something, you know, to offer. Um, and it has to do with their work. It has to do with their work. And so the good news is, is that like this divine feminine is recovering. This, this person's recovering. Um, Someone seems like they're really unhappy with the fact that anything to do with this person being accepted. And this person's very false. There's also some sort of like miracle connected here too. It's connected with love and a lot of grief. Um, it's 
Something about someone's like, this like wolf in sheep's clothing after someone's abundance as well, connected to this like tower and isolation and trying to stop someone from completing something and to grow and create an impasse and isolate them and dominate them. And so, so yeah, so we have this eight of wands in reverse so this has to do with forgiveness yeah that just feels like someone really you know that these what's the same in both of these cards is like this is like this is a person with a dog and it's got that like it's like with nature and it's just that like perfect pure easy love that it's just it's easy and it's unconditional love where there's like a connection and same thing here it's so innocent there's just a lot of innocence there and you know here's this baby with the rhino that's protecting the baby and in both cases there's like a sense of like empathy and forgiveness this just feels like a soft type of like love that you know yeah it's forgiveness but and look there's a baby here more innocence lost money lost innocence and money lost this is kind unconditional love and it's this frustrated action Eight of Wands in reverse. And someone's just in despair over that. I feel like more than one person's in despair. I feel like there's a masculine energy here that's in despair. They can't seem to get any help. There's some sort of an older woman here. A matriarch that's very suspicious. Something about a message. Sending messages that aren't getting through. Or sending messages that are frustrating or something like that or it's even just like a vibration that this does not like it won't the connection here is the unconditional love and innocence there's a frustrated action that just didn't go anywhere something like that I'm so like what's the moral moral of the story When I look at this card, you know, it's about someone discovering their heart, and I, but I feel like it can also be someone being very intrusive as well. Because um, I see fortune and enterprise, and then evolution in reverse, so it's like someone not evolving or something like that. So let's just find out why is it that we need to know this. I guess it's just sort of like seeing that there's a big extreme situation playing out probably with the karmic feminine and masculine energy and there's a miracle that has been like overlooked or something like that and someone's recovering who has a lot of vision a divine feminine energy who is also was like someone was trying to dominate isolate them um and and create an impasse for them um but they had something to offer uh, that was being blocked and now someone is feeling there's a lot of grief and despair over the loss of innocence and also money is there anything else we need to know yeah someone's re reject um someone is reflecting on how someone got rejected by a, a stalker energy so maybe more than one yeah someone was just very obsessive so i feel like people or someone or something like people are having a revelation like this person maybe they're seeing why someone what, what happened to someone here yeah and in the meantime though there's someone i feel like this is the person with this acceptance who had like the knife scooper upper uh it's like 
there was a pie to be, there was a pie that needed to be doled out, <laughs> distributed, even, even pieces of pie, but it's like they wanted to be the winner or something, or because they were being false about there's they have that pointy thing in their hand and they were being very false uh, maybe doing some really extreme things this could be some sort of documents or evidence or something coming out about what this person has done I know a lot of you have like gone through all kinds of crazy stuff with this energy uh, so I guess just know that What's good about this is that things are shifting and that there are people, because you probably felt while this was happening, like this is just the way the world looks now. Um, but it seems like with this concern and scholar, that there's someone there who can see the truth for one, because you probably were wondering why everybody was acting a certain way. But, but someone can see here outside of your circle, it feels like. Um, and in some cases, and I'm not making excuses for anyone, but I don't know if this is true or not, but I feel like there could be a masculine energy depending because there's so many of you that actually didn't know or I don't know that they, they didn't know the extreme of what this was uh, while it was happening. Because I feel like they are the person that's connected to this um, false pie lady. Um, the obsessive stalker energy. The, the one who tried to get you re rejected or whatever. That was literally like stalking and obsessed with you. Um, and so maybe this person feels like with this loss of innocence that because this could be this person is in despair that you had this love with. You had this love and maybe you, you know, were trying to build something, this occupation. But then this person wanted to be the only one, like, and they were doing something false, even though there was a miracle there. And... So this person now is, and then there's some also some woman, there might be lies or something like that as well here. There's something else weird going on, this mother character in the reverse. So, That's in some cases, or this person participated. I don't see the moon card here. So I'm not seeing lunacy as to why. In this reading, in this particular reading, it feels like a masculine energy that feels like very, um, there's something, they want forgiveness, but the messages can't get through. Or message didn't get through. They could have sent you some correspondence and it didn't get through, or they're trying now, but you blocked them or something. I don't know. I don't want to go too too much more deep deep into it, but it definitely feels like there's a shift in the in the way that people are seeing the circumstances. There are people who who are starting to see um, that someone did everything they they could to um, create an impasse for you and isolate you and, and complete that task. And that people can see what you went through and what kind of grief that might have caused and that you're recovering. So from this like stalker energy. And not only that, that you're someone that has like, you know, a vision that you're very intuitive as well. Um, yeah, so if you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. It, it feels it feels good. It feels like someone can see, you know, 
what happened. And they care. It feels like someone cares. Um, I know you don't want pity at all. You don't need pity. You don't want pity. But it's nice to know that someone cares outside of the, like, you know, light worker, healer, activist energy, you know? It doesn't sit well with someone or several people. What happened? There's a tower. That's why there's a tower. I mean, that's like a big painful, that can be a very painful revelation. You know, it's like, Yeah, it's like, you know, it almost feels like existential, like an existential crisis. It's like, feeling let down by the state of the world. It's just like an extra, it's like an extra layer. It feels like an extra layer. You know, I can almost hear just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, like that kind of a thing where it's like the world is already like in a state of disarray or something like that where there's just so many things on top of things on top of things and now this. It's kind of that energy, not for, for everyone, but there is that energy and that's why it's like concern. It, it is. It's concern and it's concern but it's not pity. And there could be other people involved here too. Yeah. That are this woman, an older woman upside down. I don't know. All right. I hope that helps. See you on the next read. Bye.